everyone, welcome to JMW Euphoria. This is the pre-show, or the kickoff show, featuring our NXT superstars as we are live from Seattle, Washington. Right now we've got Ethan Page taking on Tommaso Ciampa. I wonder who's, I wonder who's gonna go, I wonder who's gonna walk out the winner in this match. We're gonna have to find out. Another German suplex. Irish whip. On a reverse bite page. He's page trying to throw down the arm of his mouth chump by. Here's a cover. Oh wait, Jim. Oh wait, he's a page not done with him. And a knee. to the face of Ethan Page. Pain enduring on, on Ethan Page must be very horrific. And another German suplex. Oh, and a wicked clothesline. Oh, Champa. Off for the project, Champa. And it connects. Look at that again. Project Champa impacted with great precision. Ethan Page must. Ethan Page's back must be discovered. And a kick out. I thought it was over. On a reverse by Ethan Page. Pitch is barely getting any offense. Tommaso Ciampa is taking control. Lying so much damage on Ethan Page that it's not even funny. Oh, 
on Champa punching away at East Page. Out here in Seattle, Washington on their feet as they're watching the pre-show here. And a reversal clothesline. Clothesline. Reversal by Champa. On a knee. Kick out by Champa. Ethan Page telling Tommaso Champa to stay down. But Tommaso Champa is getting out of the ring already. And a close one. Champa, what's he going for? Tomas Champa. Oh. Here's the cover. Tomaso Champa picking up the win here on the Euphoria pre show. Here is your winner, Thomas O. Champ. Also, Champa celebrating his victory, you know, what's going on here now? <laughs> oh, and Champa just throwing Ethan Page to the, to the announce table. Everybody get out of the way. Into the barricade. Oh, so much punishment by Ethan to Ethan Page. It's not even. Oh, and just throwing him into the to the ring post. Back into the ring they go. And a close line. That's gonna put down Ethan Page. Also, Champa sending a message to Jimmy Havoc that he's not finished with him yet. And I believe that Jimmy Havoc might consider that a threat than a promise. There we go. We've got Black Heron taking on Cameron Bash. Once once again, this time it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Last This week on NXT, it was a steel cage. But now... It's on the JMWE Euphoria pre-show, and it's just a one-on-one -on -one match. One of these two is going to walk out the winner, but I wonder who. We're going to find out here tonight. Get out of the way. Wait for a reversal. Another reversal. Irish whip. Another reversal by Black Heron. Trying to Cameron Bash trying to pick him up, but he's too heavy. And a bro kick. Irish whip. And a spine buster. Oh, 
suplex. Suplex, suplex connected. On the reversal by Cameron Bash. Maxwell Verdi, the NXT champion, must be watching in the backstage knowing that this may, that Black Heron may be his next opponent for the NXT title. And I think I, I think I could say for everyone that Black Heron needs to be, needs to be fully prepared in order to take on Maxwell Verdi for the NXT title in the near future. But is he fully prepared? Is he fully ready to face Maxwell Verdi for the NXT title? I have no clue. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to see it see it for ourselves to see if Black Heron is actually fully prepared. Knowing that every once in a while everybody's probably gonna get a chance. Just don't know who is gonna come out on top. Only black hair on. Oh, bash bottom. Where was it? Oh, what? oh yes. Now we know that. Black hair on is to focus on his A game. He needs to focus on what's truly important here. And that is sending a message to Maxwell Verdi and and to give punishment to uh, Cameron Bash as much as possible. Black hair on going back into the ring. Black hair on wants to go for it, going for the F5. There he goes. Cameron Bash is down. Oh, and a reversal by Cameron Bash, taking the back of the back of the leg and a close line. Oh, another five. Here we go. Black hair on. Put a set it up and it connects. And here's the cover and a kick out. Reversal by Cameron Bash. I'll go for the spear, but reversal. Oh, and Black Heron putting Cameron Bash in the submission. Cameron Bash is in trouble. Oh, and not, what a smart move by Cameron Bash. He's dragging himself to the ropes. In order to, in order for the ref to see the rope, to see the rope being touched by Black Her by Cameron Bash, I mean. That's gonna cause a rope break. On oh, another reversal by Attitude adjustment. And here's the cover. And a kick out. Didn't put away black hair on that easily. Throwing Cameron Batch to the rope. Oh, and a stiff punch to the face. That's going to send you to the dentist soon. That's going to send you to the dentist, though. Stalin suplex. Black Heron just having a blast with Cameron Bash is just, just giving him torture after torture. And I think I don't I f I don't think Cameron Bash actually likes that. I bet nobody does. Oh, and Black Heron with the F5. Go set it up. 
and it can and there we go here's the cover and a rope break of course S smart move by Cameron Bash having his hand under the rope on a pop-up power bomb and here's the cover and a kick out This kind of feels like Euphoria 2018 when Black Heron was a part of a match. Also involving Cameron Bash. This kind of feels like that. Let me see what match it was. Black hair on. Here's the cover. And a kick out. On the dash bottom. Down he goes. Here's the cover. And a kick out. Goodness gracious. Ah, yes, it was with Kurt, it was against Kurt Hawkins, I forget. Yes, it was, yeah. It was, it was Euphoria 2018 against Kurt Hawkins. Yes, I remember now. Oh, and a submission. Oh, for the submission, will Black Hair on tap out? Well, I sure hope he doesn't. And Black Hair on breaks free. On a pop of power bomb. Here's the cover. Oh wait, no oh, rope break. Irish whip. Another Irish whip. And a spear. Down goes black hair on. Cameron bashing control. So much potential between these two athletes, it's crazy. Here's the cover, and a rope break. Oh, and Cameron Bash going to the top rope. On four. Oh, he's telling Black Iron to get up. Setting something up, I think. And... And Black Hound got some play and a pop of power bomb. Here's the cover. Black Heron picks up another victory. Black Heron picking up a victory against Cameron Bash here. Cameron Bash doesn't look too happy that he just lost once again. First he, first he lost the NXT title and now he lost another match against Black Heron. 
What's next for Cameron Bash? I don't know. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to see in the near future. But whatever it is, it's not looking too good for Cameron Bash at all. And we got the NXT Women's Champion Sochi Lopez versus Lazara here one on one here on the Euphoria pre-show. We are coming to you live from Seattle, Washington. Two of the greatest women's athletes that we have on the NXT roster. But I wonder... Who is gonna who's gonna win this match? Who's gonna have the upper hand? Who's gonna have the more potential in this match? I don't know. We're gonna have to find out here tonight in this in the pre show. There you go, Lazara Sochi Lopez, one on one here on the Euphoria pre show. Lazara with the headlock. Oh. Drop down. And a close and a close line. Single leg takedown by Sochi Lopez. By Irish whip. Sochi Lopez and Laz and Lazara, two of the greatest women superstars that Lucha Libre has to offer. Two athletic indi individuals. One being the NXT Women's Champion, and the other wanting to be NXT Women's Champion. They, they both got potential. They both got what it takes to become Women's Champion. But I think Lazar is going to prove, needs to prove to herself that she can be a worthy NXT Women's Champion in the near future. If she faces Sochi Lopez once again in, in a this time in the NXT Women's Championship match. And a moonsault by Sochi Lopez. And a drop kick. Oh, we go, another flip. And another flip. And Sochi Lopez, what's she going for? She's gonna set it up early. The double leg takedown. Oh, and Sochi Lopez going for it. She's going for the 619. And it connects. Here we go. Here's the cover. And a kick out by, by Lazara. And a reversal by Lazara with the neck breaker. Oh, and firing up the crowd here in Seattle, Washington. say these two got astounding resumes they got astounding title shots in different in different places they got the athletic ability they got the charisma they've got the potential they got the height that's what an athlete should probably be I don't know 
I can see they're actually athletic. They're act they're really talented. Talented young ladies. They're both very athletic. They're both very agile. They're both they're both very familiar with the wor with the world of Lucha Libre. Sochi Lopez wrestled in Mexico where she where she was a very popular superstar there. Zara wrestled in Puerto Rico. Also very athletic. Sochi Lopez from Guadalajara, Mexico, and Lazara from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Both of their athletic abilities combined could possibly result in a very, very, very great match. A very outstanding, possibly a five-star match. But hey, I'm not Dave Meltzer. What do I know? A reversal by Sochi Lopez. Oh, and Lazaro with the reversal with the double foot stomp. Here's the cover. And a kick out. Sochi Lopez has been a wrestling fan since she, was, since she was a little girl. She wanted to do this when she when she was really young. But now that she can but now that she that her dream has come true, she can she can go after big and better and better things. Right now, she's focused on defending her NXT Women's Championship against someone who is is rightfully chosen to be the, her opponent. Oh, and Lazar, what's she going for? To the top. Oh, and a, and a drop kick. Oh, and Lazar setting it up. What's she going for? Oh, and Lazar, what's she going for? Roll up. Here's the cover. And a kick out. Goodness gracious. This has turned out to be a great match, not gonna lie. Eric Corona by Sochi Lopez. What's Sochi Lopez going for now? And Lazara being thrown out of the ring. Sochi Lopez going to fly. Woo. That was incredible. The height of that. Impact and all. That's that's impressive. Really talented superstars we have here. Everybody get out of the way. Everybody get out of the way. Oh, and Sochi Lopez throwing her back into the ring. I gotta say the height of that jump out of the ring, that was amazing. Very amazing. And now, oh, here we go. Set number 619 again. There we go. Down goes. Here's cover. And a kick out. Sochi Lopez channeling her inner Aztec warrior, and here we go. Oh. Up she goes. Oh, go for the neck breaker, but Lazara reversed. What did I tell you? These two got potential. These two got chemistry. But having both chemistry methods combined makes a pretty good match. Sochi, what you going for? Double knees to the face. I 
I gotta, I gotta tell you that these athletes have tried everything in their power, in their playbook to put each other away. Here we go. Panama Sunrise. Let's see that again. Zara must be out right now. Oh, must be out by that. Here's the cover. Oh, and it looks like Sochi Lopez not done with Lozara here. On a reversal. An Irish whip. Oh, and Lazar doing it again. She's going to the top. Drop kick. There we go. Here's the cover. And a kick out. What an amazing match this has, got, this has gotten to be now. All right, Irish with the corner. And a reversal by Sunchi Lopez. And a flip. Another flip, but that one, that one didn't go as much. That didn't go as she hoped. Oh, and Lopez, what is she going for? Going for another double leg takedown. And it connects. Reversal by Lazara. And an elbow drop. Drop kick. Oh, reversal by Lazara going for this. Sochi Lopez going for the 619. And the Irish whip. Oh, there she goes again. Oh, wait. Anima Sunrise. And a connect. Here's the cover. And a kick out by Sochi Lopez. I swear, if this was for the NXT Women's Championship, then this match would have would have would have burned the house down with with such athleticism. Or I I don't know what the saying is. Bring the house down. That's what I meant. Not, not burn the house down. It's bring the house down. I'm sorry. Another no thought. Another no salt. Sochi Lopez in fashionable control. And a neck and a neck breaker. Oh, and Sochi Lopez is going for it. Oh, and, and she missed. Oh. Oh, and now Lazara going for a 619 here. And it connects. Oh, no, but got to the leg. Now Lazara, what's she going for? Got her in the submission. Oh wait, never mind. I thought that was a submission move, but here's the cover. And a kick out. Oh my goodness. Oh Lazaro setting it up. What you going for? Uh-oh. Roll up. There we go, and here's the cover. And Lazara picks up the win. What a match. What an absolute match. Back and forth action between these two stars of Lucha Libre. 
these two have potential. You can see the height of that of that jump out of the ring. And Sochi Lopez with the 619 connecting, but didn't put away Lazara. Here is your winner, Lazara. Lazara celebrating her victory here in Seattle, Washington. As she is probably destined to get an NXT women's title shot in the near future. But I think it's safe to say that Lazara's got a bright future ahead of her in the company. And we'll see how her how her progress goes down 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 the road in the future, but right now we're going with the next match. That was, we got a tornado, we got a fatal four-way tornado tag match. It is the Broserweights taking on SCU members, Christopher Daniels and Frankie Kazarian. Again, taking on Jurassic Express members, Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy, and also Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly of the, of the Undisputed Era. Who's going to, which team's going to walk out victorious? We'll have to find out here tonight. But here we go with this tornado tag. No eliminations. One pin, one team, one team is the winner. So I wonder who's going to be. Will it be the Broserweights? Will it be SCU? Will it be Jurassic Express? Or will it be the Undisputed Era? We're gonna we're gonna have to find out here. Here's go you can see Matt Riddle from the top. Swanton to Frankie Kazarian. Oh, and a, knee to the, and a knee to Bobby Fish from Jungle Boy. Lucha Source and Pete Dunn going at it. You can see Christopher Daniels and Kyle O'Reilly having fun with him. Having fun. Oh, Matt Riddle. German suplex. Trouble with uh, Christopher Daniels. Uh, the German suplex. Oh, and Frank Azari attacking Matt Riddle's partner, Pete Dunn. Matt Riddle saw what he was doing. He was, and he went to, and he rushed to save his partner. Oh, and a Superman punch. Oh, Jungle Boy, he's going for a, for a boot. Down goes Bobby Fish, and here comes a reversal by Rick Zari and Jungle Boy with the, the backwards clothesline. I didn't even see Jungle Boy hit. I didn't even see him coming. That was unexpected. Matt Riddle, minding his own business, went out of this one all of a sudden. Jungle Boy comes comes out of nowhere, like Randy Orton with an with an RKO. It wasn't an RKO. It was uh, a 
Matt Riddle again with the German suplex. All right, as you can see, Luchasaurus find a submission to, uh, oh, here's a reversal by Rick Azarian. suplex and here's the cover and a kick out and a takedown in trouble with Christopher Daniels in trouble as well. As Frank Zarn's not there to help him. Just getting back on his feet. He done what he's going for. Zarin Irish whip. Another Irish whip. Oh, and a RKO for Cutter. My friend is breaking up the pin. Is just sort of just trying to pin um, Bobby Fish. Oh, and the ref's down. Kyle O'Reilly's trying to pin him. Trying to pin Matt Riddle. by Riddle. Got a suplex. Bro. Luchasaurus working on Matt Riddle now. On oh, a takedown. And a suplex. Here's the cut and a rope break. For oh, reversal by Christopher Daniels. Oh, and Lugosaurus breaking up the pin. Oh, and Pete Dunn with. Oh, he's trying to break the leg of, of Christopher Daniels. Backbreaker to Luchasaurus. Oh, and Christopher Daniels with a clothesline. by Jungle Boy to Bobby Fish and a back super kick and a rear super kick to Pete Dunn. A reversal by Jungle Boy. Oh, and Pete Dunn, what's he going for? Going for it. Down goes Jungle Boy. Here's the cover. Kyle 
got in the submission. Kyle O'Reilly make Pete Dunn tap out. No, Matt Riddle saves his partner. Thunderbomb by Christopher Daniels to Kyle O'Reilly. Oh, Luke sorry, I just saw that Luke Sorsis accidentally took down Matt Riddle. Trying to save, actually trying to break up the pin. Oh, and the ref's down. The ref's accidentally down. Frankie Gazarian picking up Pete Dunn, putting him into the chop. Oh, and Luchasaurus getting in the way. and Bobby Fish pick up the win in this match. Oh my goodness, look at that. Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish pick up the win here on the pre-show. So much carnage between these between these four teams. So much action, so much carnage, so much so much athleticism, so much so Here much good spots. Winners, Adam but Adam Cole Kyle must be happy to see that his that his two undisputed era members are picked up the win here. As they're celebrating, as they're celebrating the victory, Kyle O'Reilly busted open. Bobby Fish happy that he and Kyle O'Reilly won this match. That is undisputed. There we go. We've got. Jimmy Havoc versus Bandito here on the pre-show. I hope Tommaso Ciampa doesn't interfere in this match, but if he does, then that's not good. As we get on with this match right now. Here we go. And here comes Jimmy Havoc. Jimmy Havoc making his way to the ring. 
prepared and focused as he's about to face Bandito here. Making his uh oh. Look who it is. It's Tommaso Ciampa. He's got a kendo stick. Oh, and Tommaso Ciampa with the kendo stick attacking Jimmy Havoc. Jimmy Havoc fighting back. Oh, Tommaso Ciampa just throwing him into the barricade. Dragging him to the ring. Oh. This is just pure insanity. Oh, Tommaso Ciampa just thrown into the steel steps. Tommaso Ciampa just came out of nowhere. The kendo stick and just started attacking Jimmy Havoc before the match even started. Have it getting out of there. Trying to find a weapon. Oh, and Jimmy Havoc with the baseball bat. Well, that match was a well that match was was unexpected. It's Andy Kawhi versus Marty Daniels. Andy Kawhi is facing the former NXT Women's Champion. Marty Daniels here tonight on the Foria pre-show. As I wonder who's gonna walk, who's gonna win this match? I have no clue. We're gonna find out here tonight.
Here is your winner, Marty Daniels. That was a very that's that was a very very short match. I don't know if the commentary got through, but apparently the mic was off. I don't know. But hey, that was a really short match and it wasn't really good, but let's get on with but hey, let's let's keep going with the with the show. Here we go, we got the main event of the pre of the pre show. It is the NXT champion Max Wolverine taking on Isaiah Evans. And we're going to see if we don't have anyone interrupting this match because if we do then that's that would be that wouldn't be good, wouldn't wouldn't it? Here we go. Oh, and athleticism by Isaiah Evans as he takes down Maxwell Verdi. And a drop kick. Beautiful impact. Dragon also uh backbreaker and a clothesline there you go DDT over to survive Maxwell Verdian Oh, that's got to hurt for both of them. I'm not going to bend over after that. Wink, wink. <laughs> oh, I'm nasty. I'm sorry. I just had to say that. I just had to make that joke. I'm sorry. Oh, and I, Isaiah Evans, what's he going for? Oh, ho. Isaiah Evans hyping up the crowd here in Seattle. As this is the main event of the pre-show before we get on with the before we get on with the main with the actual pay-per-view. Irish whip. And a knee. Ball by double knee to the face. Elbow drop. A reversal. Oh, and here's the cover. Here's the roll up. And a kick out. Oh, oh. -ho. That's gotta hurt. Maxwell Verdi getting out of the ring to take a, take a little break. Ref starting his 10 count. 
Hey, hey, those are our monitors. What are you doing, Maxwell? <laughs> Maxwell Brady just throwing Isaiah Evans. Oh, the reversal, back body drop. Oh, and just thrown into the to the steel steps. Everybody get out of the way. He's gonna do something to our table. The refs start. The refs counting at seven. Oh, and Max Roberti was going for DDT. He just loves to throw Isaiah Evans into that into the uh, announce table, doesn't doesn't he? Oh, Maxwell Brady was going for. He's gonna do something to our table. Oh no! Don't spill my drink. Oh! Oh, he spilled my drink. I have to go to the snack bar and get another one. It's a lot, Maxwell. You ruined it. You ruined it. Kick to the back of, the, of, Ma of Isaiah Evans. I'm still mad. At, I'm still mad at Maxwell. He ruined my drink. He spilled my pet. He spilled my Mountain Dew all over the floor. Spinebuster. No, I'm not even gonna comment. I'm too mad now. He spilled my Mountain Dew. Actually, I have to commentate. Never mind. Oh, and Maxwell ready with the reversal. Zigzag. Isaiah Evans hyping up the crowd here in, in Seattle again. Oh, here we go. Here's the roll up. Here's the cover. And Isaiah Evans picks up the win. That's what he gets. That's what he gets for ruining my drink, for ruining my delicious Mountain Dew. He ruined it. He spilled it over the floor when he when he when he threw Isaiah Evans into the table. That's what he gets. Karma bit him straight in the butt. What goes around comes around. That's the saying we say here. You can see the, the roll up by Isaiah Evans. This what this is what put uh, Maxwell Verdi away. Here is your winner, the Iceman, Isaiah Evans. Max and Maxwell Verdi arguing with the Freeman. I have no idea why the announce the uh, the announcer um announced uh, MJF, but hey, the refs arguing with arguing with Maxwell Verdi that it was a three count, not a two count. Isaiah Evans pick up the win. As we as as the pre-show just come just came to a close, as we are set to as we are set to uh, present the main of the main pay-per-view a little later on. So right now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the pre-show as much as I did. We will be starting we will be starting the main pay-per-view really soon. So hang tight. As and as always, take care.